Rip, 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 rip it up. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Crash Flow. Today, another rip tip. We've been banging out a lot of rip tip lately, but uh, this is a really important one, I think, today because I want to get into transition skateboarding, dropping in, and being able to carve on transition and just pump around because I think those are really, really important things as you learn board control in skateboarding. So, before we get into that, though, one of my big topics and things I want to talk about especially in skateboarding, is just fear. Because I think that's a first thing you deal with when you look at a ramp and you go, oh, I wanna learn how to drop in. And fear is just, it's an intense thing. It's in everybody's life, you know? So it manifests in so many different ways when you're going to bed and you're sleeping and you think of things you're scared about or, you know, when it comes to skateboarding and you're looking at a ramp or jumping down some stairs, you're like, damn, I wanna do this, but it's really scary. So. I just want to say one thing about fear is that it doesn't, for me, it doesn't really go away. And fear is something that we can just build on our own in our brain when it's not, things aren't even always that scary. So rather than saying like, I need to get rid of it, for me, I look at fear as something that I can go, okay, sit back, take a breath and go, okay, well, it's there. I'm scared that I'm going to fall on this trick. But if I know exactly what I want to do, it's almost like risk management. You know, I know exactly how I want to approach this trick and I want to go about it. And I think I can do it. And I have the confidence and the willpower to try it. You know, if I take a couple of breaths, it's not that the fear goes away, but basically what happens is you go through your fears. You know, you, you just, it's almost like I said, risk management. You think about what you want to try and you take a deep breath and you do it. And like I said, the fear doesn't go away. And I use that for dropping in because I think dropping in could be really scary for the first time. So you really wanna just understand that you're scared and just know what you need to do and go for it. So today we're gonna go over just dropping in for the first time. If nobody's done it, it's a little scary, but it's a lot easier and less scary than you think if you just go for it and you know what you're doing. So let's go we're gonna we're at the chelsea park in new york city beautiful day september day and we're gonna do some drop-ins and some carving so let's go check it out So one thing I want to say, if you've never dropped in and you're scared, is that with fear, it's like we acknowledge it in skating and then we take a step forward into it. So it never really goes away. It's more like you just go into your fears. And to me, that's what skating is about. You take small steps into your fear. So let's go try to get a drop in. So you don't have to start dropping on any steep quarter pipes right away or anything. You can find a nice slanted bank in a skate park or on the street to start with. And you really wanna make sure you slowly edge your wheels over the top and make sure they're on the bank or the quarter pipe. And then get that back foot nice and comfortable towards the tail where you could just sit there for a second. But when you go to put your foot on the bolts, you put them right on the bolts and you don't hesitate at all. So hesitating is the worst thing you can do because you'll be stuck up there. And if dropping in feels a little intense at first, you can just slowly tic-tac, bend your knees, and just cruise down a little bank. And you start to feel it out like that first. And when you're ready, you go back to putting your wheels right over the crack like this, and not hesitating, pushing your way all the way down with that front foot, and just keeping the momentum forward. You wanna just push down fast, and really just think about looking forward keeping that momentum forward don't think about the quarter pipe just think about dropping down and keeping going forward straight as fast as you can and it's really just getting that proper setup in the beginning to be confident and going right into it and like i said hesitating is probably the worst thing you can do so it gets easier and easier and you just put that weight down and you can be gentle about them too you don't have to then as you start making your way to real quarter pipes it literally becomes the exact same motion, just faster. 
So if you're at a good skate park, you can find a little quarter pipe, then a little higher and a little higher till you get more and more comfortable and you're dropping in vert ramps and 12 foot bowls. But just make sure you're comfortable at the height you're at before you move to the next level. And it just takes some time. But like I said, you don't want to hesitate. You want to go straight into it, lean forward and bend your knees. And then you get more comfortable and then we start getting into carving and pumping. But before we get into carving, you got to just start learning how to pump. And it's very simple. You just want to get a little push to a quarter pipe. If you can learn in the bottom of a half pipe, all you have to do is start bending your knees up and down the quarter pipe. So the trick is to lengthen your knees and bend them on the way down. So you get that momentum and you're pumping and pushing yourself out of the quarter pipe from each side. So if you watch my knees, they're kind of straight and bend at the last second and go up. So the higher you get on the quarter pipe, you become almost weightless for a quick second. But if you watch, you just kind of regularly balance and then you bend and pump down and you start to be able to gain more board control and speed every time you pump. So it's about being light footed, but just starting to pump your way up the quarter pipe. And you literally use your whole body when you do this from your knees to your waist and up. So here's another angle when you start from the flat bottom. And you literally can use your arms, but try to use your core of your body and push all the way up and down. So you see how you can even use your arms in the beginning, you just flail them up. Anything to pump the core pipe and push it down with your weight. And you'll see slowly, if you don't feel like you're budging at first, you start to get that momentum. And then you feel it more in your core, where you, as you go up, you bend and pump down. Bend, pump down. Bend and pump down. And when you bend your knees, at that point, you almost become a little weightless because you're having that energy push you up and down. And you're just being very careful. And then you pump your way up to start doing tricks eventually. Then you also want to start learning how to carve by doing little turnarounds on the quarter pipe. You can literally tic-tac on the bottom of a quarter pipe just like that to get going. So if you have a good tic-tac, it's going to help you start to gain that momentum at the bottom of a half pipe like this. So I recommend before you get into just carving, kind of just tic-tacking at the bottom and really learning how to use your momentum, bending your knees like you're pumping back and forth but also tic-tacking around the bottom of a half pipe like this. And as you can see, it's that same knee, bending the knee motion and feeling weightless for a second and pumping down. But once you be able to start to get your momentum a little higher on the quarter pipe, then the tic-tacs can start to become turning around and more of a carve. And you just wanna to start to get more and more comfortable with being able to turn around and pump down a quarter pipe. So you have that weightless feeling of knee straight bending and pumping down. And you just start to carve more and more till you get higher and higher. And really that's the beginning of being able to carve, do little slashes on quarter pipes and really start pumping. So you're gonna learn to use your momentum by just those little tic tacs at the bottom of a quarter pipe. And next thing you know, you'll be pumping around in no time. So once you get backside, you definitely want to have frontside as well. And you can start the same way with just tic-tacking at the bottom of a quarter pipe or a half pipe. And really just getting that momentum up a little bit each time on the quarter pipe and pumping it down. And as you get better and better, the tic-tacs can turn into turnarounds and then more carving and then even into slashing later. But it's really all about bending those knees when you get higher and pumping that momentum down like i always say so the more comfortable you get with pumping and turning around front side and back side the more board control you'll have in general whether it's street or skate parks and then you just get more comfortable pumping around pumping around so the next thing you might want to just throw little slashes in there and front side slash is one of the funnest tricks you'll ever get and it's really just pushing a little bit more past your front side turns. 
So it all kind of turns into one. And next thing you know, you're really just ripping around a skate park, front side or back side, pumping however you want. And I also want to add an angle so you can see whether it's backside or front side, your upper torso of your body is turning. So when you start getting just regular turns on a quarter pipe, it's all about twisting your shoulders and your upper head, but kind of slowly. And you can always use your, your arms to wind up a little bit. See how you th I'm throwing my arms up and turning my head and shoulders. And when you do that, the bottom half of your body will follow. So always remember if your shoulders and upper torso turn to direction, your feet are gonna turn with it. And that's really gonna help your slashes and carves because once you twist your upper half, the bottom will just follow and almost just start slashing and turning really easily with your head and shoulders together. And once you get comfortable ripping around a skate park, feeling weightless on a quarter pipe, pumping front side or back side and carving and just doing little slashes, it's one of the most funnest feelings and the freest feelings in the world. And that's why I'm making this video. So hopefully more people will just want to focus on really just pumping around and having fun. Because when you get more comfortable with balance and ripping around a skate park and pumping, it's going to make it that much more easier when you start doing crazy tricks. So there you go. That's basically the basics for pumping, turning on transition, front side or back side. And when you get comfortable going either way, then you can start slashing. It's really one thing to the next and you start building upon these little things that you learn and like i say it's like transition is like the key to board control and i know it's like scary at first drop the idea of dropping in but you just realize you understand it's scary and you go for it and you take one step into your your fears you know and i think for me if i just go for things sometimes i realize it's not that scary and transition it's not that bad i've definitely fallen more on transition than other things but a little scary at first, but if you just get yourself to try and go for it, commit, you'll probably be alright. Alright guys, hope you liked it. Bless it.